Welcome to the Life Given Podcast, your 30th episode. Uh, we are going to try something new here. And honestly, I would love any and all feedback on this as this is slightly different, uh, a different show than we've done in the past. Often we'll have a couple topics that we will cover, but I, I may be turning Wednesday's uh, episode into more of a news briefing. And at some point, I this may become exclusively life-given news content as we're continuing to push out content over there and covering more and more stories as we look to onboard more and more writers into onto the life-given news. And uh, hopefully we'll be putting out so much content that that's all I need to talk about. But um, until we get to that point, I do want to cover some of the bigger stories that are going on uh, and just give you a brief rundown of what's happening inside, uh, in and around those stories. And uh, really, it's just going to be 15 to 20 seconds per story. And I've got five stories here, five of the top headlines that have come across my inbox, my feed. Uh, and I just want to share with you guys, just in case you missed some of these, uh, it ranges from pop culture to politics. So I think you'll, you'll find something that interests you in these news briefs that will happen uh, each Wednesday, hopefully. And then if you guys find it useful, maybe we can do uh, more episodes like these and keep our Fridays for our, our main shows. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into uh, this week's news brief. And a lot has been going on around the world, and we'll get to this little snafu uh, that the CDC had at the very end of the episode here. But to kick it off in the sports world, a UFC fighter received a call from the president after he sang uh, the president's praises in a post-fight interview where he af after his win. And he had said, ladies and gentlemen, the silent majority is ready to make some noise. If you thought that was a beating, referring to his fight, wait until November 3rd when Donald Trump gets his hands on Sleepy Joe. That's going, that's going to be a landslide, Covington, the fighter, said. Uh, President Trump then called him on air as he was in this live interview and uh, just appreciated how great of a fighter he was. He said, you're a great fighter, man. Trump said, I tell you, you make it so easy. I don't know how you do it. Congratulations. I wanted to watch the fight tonight. I wanted to watch it. You were great. And of course, um, even though I'm botching the delivery, you can hear President Trump through that. So President Trump appreciates probably the shout out from the UFC fighter when it comes to uh, the, his campaign, as he's received quite a bit of negative uh, feedback, uh, to put it lightly, in the last few months since he has become the Republican nominee once again. Violence, uh, turning actually to now Chicago, violence has risen so high that USPS workers may, stop ref may start refusing to deliver to Chicago residents. This follows on the heels of one of their mail carriers being shot four times in the back during a drive-by shooting there. Local authorities do not believe that she was the target. Thankfully, the female poster worker has not passed, but she is in critical condition at a hospital recovering from gunshot wounds, and hopefully she will make a full recovery. Our prayers and thoughts go out to her. And just as a side note, I really hope that this violence is not due to a lack of policing there, uh, and rather that uh, our, our police are doing the best they can over there. And as some of you may know, um, hopefully most of you may know, if you have been around any of your social medias in the last week, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg recently passed, and it appears that around her death, the new lines are being drawn in the sand for the impending 2020 election. Uh, forget about schools, forget about the coronavirus. Democrats are looking to delay an appointment to the Supreme Court as until their bid is welcomed into office, until uh, Sleepy Joe is elected and uh, put as our president-elect. Uh, but Republicans and Trump are wanting to uh, push to uh, get their nomination and get a hold on the Supreme Court, such as one as they have not had for decades. President Trump 
mentioned that he would announce his appointment nominee on Saturday. So stay tuned on that and we'll keep this story covered for you. In local news, Moscow's city council met Monday nights to discuss whether or not to allow their mask mandate, which was set to expire in early October, uh, whether to expire or to extend it until January 5th of 2021. They did indeed extend it voting unanimously to put the motion through six to zero. There were no votes to the contrary. There have there were some questions raised as to the difference in at, at the city council meeting. There is a questions raised on the difference between private and public spaces, which the mayor distinguished between the two after a photo circulated of him unmasked at an event that had 50 to 60 people this event being held outside of Moscow and the picture showed him standing less than uh, six feet away from other people uh, in the photo unmasked. And he, he and the city council made points that there is in fact a difference between private residences and public spaces. So do keep a note as uh, we will hopefully get a more clear definition of that in the future. And finally, to wrap things up, uh, at the on f uh, in last week, at the end of the week on Friday, the CDC put out a report saying that the corona, the novel coronavirus can be spread through the air uh, and not just transmitted. They have since reversed that and gone back to saying that it's transmitted uh, predominantly and that people need to maintain six feet of different distance from one another. But in this uh, premature posting, they mentioned that people will need to stay at least six feet from others, showing once again that it's nearly impossible to complete, completely avoid a virus. So we'll keep tabs on that to make sure that uh, if that's a foreshadowing of new protocols that the CDC will be pushing, the Life Given News and the Life Given Podcast will try to stay on top of that. If you guys have any questions, reach out to me at thelifegivingandreceived.gmail.com. All of these stories will be shared in the link below, in the note, in the show notes below. And we will uh, try to keep these uh, big stories covered as we move forward. Remember that the life that you've been given and the life that you have received includes every area of life. Why should current events be the exception? God bless.